Today we're repairing a game gear. You can possibly see that. Very faint. Very faint video and the sound is very faint. Capacitor repair should fix that. Uh, today I'm just going to follow the guide on this website. Very nice layout and it's in French but it marks what you need to replace in red. So if you need cap repair, go there. I think that's why I also bought this cap kit because I'm too lazy to source the uh, components individually. Although you can do, I'm just too lazy. So uh, let's get this started. Take it apart. Set the camera somewhere that it won't get in the way. There we go. So, game gears. Everyone loves them. Not really. Most people like Game Boys. Oh, now, I don't have game bits. I'm using a that fits somewhat so this particular model is a focus two one one zero dash 50. So you've got six screws on the outside. Need a Phillips head to remove them. You've got the gain bit one at the top where the cartridge goes in. Put the screws somewhere safe, you don't want to lose them. And if you've got functioning battery covers, be even more careful. Don't break them. So that would be a terrible waste. Picked this one up on eBay, didn't cost me too much. Had problems, came with another one, there were two in the set, a couple of games. Got a lot of games now, which I guess is good. So once six screws and the game bit is out, uh, ooh, you just pull it apart. Whoops. There's uh, three cables connecting on my one here. We've got, uh, ooh. Beautiful. So we've got a few little things there. We've got that connector. You disconnect it at the end that plugs into the power board. This one. You'll need two hands. And you've got on the other side two going to the soundboard. One is the speaker. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. That wasn't too hard. So, speaker and runs to the main board. There are the little capacitors there. Love those focusing noises. If we go over to the other side of the main board, we've got a whole bunch more. So we've got a few to replace there. One big one up here. Uh, these components here, the green, yellow, and blue part, Varista, I think it is, there are. Uh, they're all to do with the backlighting. So if you're doing an LED backlight mod, um, you'll need to mess around with those parts. Which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna start with the soundboard um, because at the moment the game gear was turning on. So I'll just replace the capacitors on here. As you can see there, the, they might be different types depending on which model you've got. A lot of them have these little black square ones which are actually just round ones in a square package. Um, these ones up here though on this soundboard are round. The last one I worked on was not round. 
So let's pull that out. Sound board's pretty easy to get out. <coughs> Scratch my camera. Brand new camera, great import. Pretty good deal. On the last one I worked on of these, uh, it was much, very much a test, and I mangled <laughs> quite a few things, so hopefully history will not repeat. So for me to get at that soundboard, I've got, it looks to be EMI shielding in the way, RF shielding. So I need to remove that as well. four screws on this particular one and then that comes off. The other one did not have that overlapping the soundboard so it was a lot easier to do. Now I can see my target capacitors right there. So there's two screws on this particular soundboard. Thankfully in the game gear most of the screws are the same so if you get them mixed up it's not too much worry. There's just two that secure in the um, cartridge port and they're significantly larger than what I remember. So you just pull the little sound board out and you've got it here and uh, just need to have a look at it and see what we can do. Sound board. Take a photo for keepsake. One just to be safe. So on here we've got the wheel for the sound control, headphone jack and various other bits and bobs. So the ones we want to remove are these little guys. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to replace them with good old electrolytic radial caps because they're the type that tend to break after 10 years or so <laughs> of non-use. So at least it'll have another 10 years before it breaks again. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. Soundboard's all done. So you can see it doesn't really have a lot of space on it. But uh, they're on there. So hopefully it'll work. Just always remember that negative goes toward the white part because the positive needs more room, more positive. And then the bigger gap on the... Oh, where, there it is. Bigger gap is positive. There's also a little plus near them. But uh, it's a much easier way for me to remember it anyway. So this one here seems to stick out a bit, um, up a bit when it's put in the actual case. I'd, I'd assume there's a lot of room. The other one I did, I had all the capacitors standing upright, so they were all yeah, standing upright. It didn't work very well, that's why I'm taking my time on this one and making sure that they fit as best as possible. Um, so last time, because I put them all up the wrong way and facing in the wrong direction, I couldn't get the back case on without applying a bit too much pressure, which might have resulted in it not working. My bad. Never mind. That was just a test. Now I know what I'm doing, I think. So, soundboard done. Now I'm just going to do the main board. Fair few more capacitors to go. Nail clippers are fantastic for clipping the ends of the, um, ends of the capacitors uh, to make them shorter or the right length. You can't really make them longer with it, but who cares? We're going to be at Game Gear in like another three hours at this rate. Game Gear! Oh, wrong button again. And we're done. Capacitors all in correct polarities. Nice and crooked to avoid getting crushed by the back casing. 
it's a pretty good result. The real question is though, does it work? Um, not entirely sure on that one yet. But it looks pretty good. So I'll hook it in now and see see if it fires up. Here's the repaired game gear. I say repaired because I replaced the capacitors. Let's see if it works. I swear this is the first time I'm turning it on since repairing it. I have no idea if it'll work or not. Well, that looks pretty good. Repair success. Primus control works. Wow, whoever played this, the demo on this was pretty bad at this game. And there you have it. 